lights will count us down. The revs are up, and we are off for the Japanese Grand Prix round 22 of Season 9 of SRL. Nico, a good enough start to maintain his position, but David Rod going to have the inside corner here for both turns 1 and turns 2. And then in the S's, we got to be very careful. This is not an overtaking opportunity as you see everyone start to maintain the line. It looks like Juan Rivas went very wide there going into the S's. He had the outside part. The car is still drivable, but Juan Rivas losing a lot of time there. Your race leader, Niccolo Falzarezzi, on the hard compound, doing well. Current tire disadvantage to David Rod. Wilkes. Able to get the overtake done on Koivinami. That's going to be good for him. If he's got the pace, he doesn't want to be stuck behind Koivinami while Jensen Randall is making his way through the grid. And at the top of the grid, while we checked in with Jensen Randall, it's the Red Bull of David Rod now in the lead. Medium compound coming around Dunlop here. Nicolo Fazzarezzi able to get the overtake done on the DRS straights going into turn one. Jensen going side by side with George Wilkes. He's going to get it through Cassio. Another overtake for Jensen Randall, and he's going to have DRS. So well done for Jensen Randall. Sandra Dulis also with DRS. So well done for Sandra Dulis to decrease the gap to Nicolo Falzarezzi and David Rod in front of him to regain DRS. That might be the first time. Son of Delis has had DRS in this race. Jensen really getting the slipstream. Is he going to try and send it around the outside? He will. Sandra will allow that to happen. Jensen Randall up into P3. So if you're David Rod and Nicolo Falzarezzi, you now see that green behind you. You're going to want to be careful as the Alpine of Max Mulder see the ghosted even Brito going to the pit lane so perhaps something between those two happening and a safety car Falzarezzi will restart us here so many drivers still in the Casio triangle but a great restart for Jensen Randall, who is already side-by-side -side with David Rod. Both of them right on the rear wing of Niccolo Faltz. As he... Rod and Jensen Randall side-by-side -side through turn one. Jensen Randall going to get the overtake done. Niccolo Faltz, a 131. Now will George Wilkes take a look. Sandra Delis, excuse me, Sandra Delis. Defensive coming into turns one and two, which allows George Wilkes the opportunity to throw it around the outside. George Wilkes looking at Sandra Delis. Delis squeezing him. But very late on the brakes there is George Wilkes. You can really send it in turn one and turn two. He's going to get the overtake done on Delis. The wing open. Should be an easy overtake for Jensen Randall. Slips back in front around turn one and turn two. Jensen Randall, race leader. Somehow Jensen Randall... The gap doesn't tell the whole story usually, but he's side by side with Nicolo Falter as he has DRS in turn one, and he'll regain the race lead. So we are finding ourselves in a position where you may want to be in P2 on the penultimate lap. And quite, quite a bit of cars off track. We're only able to see flashes. The Haas and Sauber of the two Spanish drivers, Noah Razo Abia and Enrique Perez. Max Mulder opting not to pit. So, Max Mulder, currently your race leader. He's on nine lap old hard compound tires. 
And he's got just about the worst combination someone can have behind them. That's Jensen Randall on fresh softs. When will he restart? There it is. We'll see if Jensen Randall is going to have the fantastic restart he had last time. Not quite as effective, but he's got the slipstream and tire advantage. Should be an easy overtake, but <laughs> Max Mulder will not make it easy. They don't want to lock the wheels. If you're Jensen Randall, you're... Oh, in contact. Well, contact between Jensen Randall and Max Mulder, and then Max kind of causing Nicolo Falzarezi to take some evasive action. That's only going to give Jensen Randall even more of a gap. Max still finding himself in P4, but Hunter Julis getting the overtake done. Not sure if Max Mulder had took any damage from the contact or if it's just the old tires as he goes sideways and he takes the Red Bull of George Wilkes with him. Almost certainly another, yeah, of course another safety car. Coming out of Spoon, you see the cars in front. Make a mistake. That looked bad. Are you all right? Let me know you're okay. Safety car, safety car. And Jensen is racing again. Decent restart for David Rod. Not so great for Nicolo Falzarezzi. The two Ferraris trying to fend off Koivinyemi just behind them. Koivinyemi is going to have a tire advantage on Sandro Dulis. But Sandro does have his teammate Dion Stahl between him and Koivinyemi. Koivinyemi looking to go around the outside on the hairpin. Goes a little bit too wide. It looked good, but a little too late on the brakes. Koivinyemi still wants that position. Turn 12 into Spoon. He's going to have the racing line, but he does have to afford Dion Stahl space. I thought I had a good no, restart there. Okay. Yeah, that's what I It's two. Jensen Randall is going to come around to 130R. He's going to come into the Casio Triangle. He'll have done it again last to first. No qualifying time. Able to get the race lead. He'll cross start finish in P1. Further cementing a fantastic season. David Rod, what a race in P2 in the Red Bull.